Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. Today's topic, you're gonna to like this one. It is, is everything always about the narcissist? Wow, I'm sure a lot of you guys have opinions on that topic. Listen, before I jump into that, I wanna say thank you for being here. Be sure to like, subscribe, thumbs up, and share the channel. Guys, the growth is happening. I'm on three platforms now. I'm on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, I'm, I'm so excited to, to get this thing going and help people out with narcissistic abuse and to be able to teach people and to educate them on this topic that not many people know about or are aware of. <clears throat> Excuse me. Remember, you're not alone. So let's jump into this topic that I know you all have opinions about. Is everything about the narcissist? Is it all about the narcissist? Yes, it is. There's your answer. Now, I could end this video right now and say, that's it, you learned it, we're done. And I do mean I could do that right now. And uh, trust me, that would be the answer to the video. I'm not gonna do that though. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna let you know a couple things. Number one, if you think you're in a narcissistic relationship or if you are in one, very simply, just, just think about this. If you're gonna go out to dinner or you're gonna go to the movies or you're, you're gonna do something with them, if think, when you throw out your idea, hey, let's do this tonight, do they say, yeah, that sounds great, let's do it? Or are they like, well, you know, I was actually thinking about doing this. If most times they're not in agreement with you and they just want to do what they want to do, there's a chance you're in a narcissistic relationship. I'm not saying that's the be all end all, but there's a chance. Another thing is, watch this one. If again, that same situation comes up and you're like, hey, I'd, I'd like to see this movie. And they're like, well, actually, I want to see that movie. And you stick with your guns and you're like, you know what, tonight I really want to see my movie, so we're going to do it. And you do see your movie. Watch the behavior of the narcissist. Are they going to be happy? Are they going to be indifferent? Are they going to be on their cell phone? Are they going to be pouting? Are they going to make your life not happy? There's a very good chance that any or all of those things will happen. Why? Because they didn't get their way. Remember, everything is about the narcissist. Everything. And you are there, whether you're the husband or wife or whatever you are, you're there just as a sidekick. And the sooner you realize that, the better off you are, which is hopefully why you're on my channel, educating yourself on this topic that, that needs more exposure. But again, so let's take a different example. You're going to, uh, you know, you're gonna go on a trip and you're not sure which hotel to stay in. And you're like, you know, I wanna stay in this hotel. I think it's better because of these accommodations and blah, blah, blah. And maybe the narcissist is like, no, I don't think so. I think we wanna do this one because of this, this, this. Same situation. Either A, you're gonna give in and do what they wanna do, which in a normal, healthy relationship would not be a problem because maybe you do what they wanna do this time and next time they do what you wanna do. But in a narcissistic relationship, no, it's gonna be about them. So if you give in and do what they wanna do, maybe, you know, maybe you're like, wow, I gave in again. Okay, that's really not good, you know. Oh, it's okay, but I really wanted to be in the other hotel. Or if you stay in your hotel, then see how they behave. Are they happy? Are they like, oh yeah, this is the best? No, they're not. They're gonna be making that experience a little bit unsettling, not happy, and uh, uncomfortable for you. So if you notice that, you could be in a narcissistic relationship also. Um, and this goes to everything, the way you dress, the way you behave, what you do, how you represent yourself, basically how you portray yourself um, for the narcissist. The narcissist, you know, remember, they, everything is about them. Everything is about them. So the, the original question, is it all about them? Yeah, it is. It, it really is. And if you find yourself giving and giving and giving, just really, you guys, think about this. No matter what your relationship, if you live together, married, whatever you're doing, but if you find yourself always giving more than you're receiving, there's a very good chance that this could be you in, in one of these narcissistic relationships. Because a narcissist is going to take as much as they possibly can from you. We already know about the supply and, and, and these things. But they're going to take and take, and they're going to push you as far as they can. Another one, they're going to ask you to do things that you're not willing, uh, sorry, they're going to ask you to do things that they wouldn't do themselves. And I'll give you a real life example. A real life example is uh, I talked with somebody not, not too long ago about uh, they're going to go visit their, their boyfriend or girlfriend, and uh, they were asked to uh, take a certain means of transportation. And the certain means, you know, it could have been, whatever the transportation was, I'm not gonna get into it, but 
that would have taken a lot of time for the person to do, and it was something that the narcissist themselves would not do. In other words, let's say the narcissist always flies, and they were asking this person to take a different means of transportation to get there. Uh, something a lot lo long, it would have taken a lot longer and more uncomfortable. That's another way that you can identify a narcissist um, or a narcissistic relationship. See, remember, when you're in a healthy, stable relationship, you're gonna give and take. You're gonna have good ups, downs, good, bad, but you're always there to support each other. There's nothing better than having support of a loved one, your partner specifically. But when you find out that you're always giving and giving and you're not being appreciated and you're always giving into them, eventually you get beaten down and believe me, you do get beaten down. I'm not saying physically, mentally. You're like, okay, well, if I say something, then you know they're not gonna listen to me and then I'm gonna feel bad. If I don't say something, it's probably easier and we just go along with them and make them happy and then there's less drama and less problems. If you find yourself in that kind of situation, you're in a narcissistic, abusive relationship. I'm almost certain of it. And it can't be that way because as individuals, we need to be free and do what we want to do. And more importantly, we need to be able to rely on our partner and rely on our partner for many things of which is give and take. One big one is give and take. You give, and then I give and give, and you go back and forth. But when things become one-sided, and guys, really think about it. When things become one-sided in a relationship, not a good sign. And what do you do? If you're the person that's always giving in, and I'm sure you are because you're on my channel, and I'm sure you're an empath, what happens? Eventually you give in, you're like, you know what, okay, well, uh, sorry, you, you're giving in. Eventually you're just like, it's not worth it. I'm just gonna go with them and do that. Uh-uh. That's what I did, and trust me when I say it, that's no way to be living your life. What you need to do is figure out a way to get what you want, when you want, just, just like they do. And the difference is you're not gonna be complaining or pouting when you don't get what you want, like they will. But if, if you identify that things aren't going your way and, you, and your partner's not reciprocating, take a step back, think about it, and you know maybe you wanna document some of these things and just say, hey, what about this? And then maybe they'll, they're gonna add up quickly, like, wow, I really don't get to decide many things in this household or in this relationship, do I? And if that's the case, not good. So that's today's topic. The answer is yes, it is all about the narcissist. I think you already knew that. You could have saved about six minutes of your time if you just watched the beginning, but you wouldn't have had all the good stuff that I wanted to show you or yeah, show you and tell you about some examples. Uh, so that's it. You guys remember, like, subscribe, share, thumbs up, all the good stuff. I love you all. I appreciate it. You are not alone. I'm here for you guys. And uh, stay tuned because the next video is going to be great too. Bye-bye and uh, God bless you all.